Okay, hello everyone. Thank you for joining on this video session today. So this is the 19th of April and this is on Monday. So once again, this is not the live stream, but this is a video session today. So I will talk about three markets today, which are pound JPY and AUD JPY and the gold. Uh, because I find these are the good examples to talk about the Ichimoku setup today. So um, I hope you can learn something new on my video today. So before standing here, just a quick disclaimer. This information is based on basically based on my own understanding, experience, knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk management. So first, um, let me talk about the pound JPY. This is the pound JPY in the daily chart. So this is ranging uh, because the Kumo flat right now. We have the uh, the Senko span A retracing, Senko span B is up, and Kijun Sen flat. Um, and also Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen just did cross. So this shows that this is the end of the uptrend so far. And also we have the Chikol Span breakout too. Chikol Span became below the candles. So this is more of the downwards, downtrending side. So what I'm looking for in this case is that the uh, I expect the market breaks the previous support level, which is near the 149.56 level. If it breaks, then the market goes into the Kumo and it can still be in the downtrend so far. So that's what I'm waiting for. But if the market breaks the upper uh, resistance line and also the Kijun Sen, then um, the market it will continuously be in a range. So I won't look for any sell chance yet in that case. So um, I'm just waiting for the breakout of this uh, previous support level. And once it does, I look at the lower time frame, H4 or H1, and look for the market to be trending on the downtrend. So right now, um, I cannot do anything because this is just ranging. But because this bearishness on the market and today's bearish candlestick, I expect the market breaks the support and goes into the Kumo and look for the trading edge afterwards. Um, just quickly looking at the Huawei chart, uh, this is still ranging, but um, uh, the, because the Kumo flat, Kumo is flat, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen flat, Chikou Span overlapping uh, the candles. So this is still uh, ranging, it just goes up and down, and we have the three times of uh, supports at this uh, 149.56. So I was expecting the market breaks the support line downwards um, last Friday, but it didn't happen and it just went backwards and now it's in the range. So um, at this stage, I cannot expect wh which way the market goes. It might go up and down. And at this stage, not sure which way it's going in this Huawei chart either. But one thing for sure is that once again, once the market breaks the support level of this 149.56 or all the way at this uh, tip of the week, which is 149.39. If the market breaks the support level downwards, then I will look for the sell chance. So this is the pound JPY and this is what I'm looking for right now. So let's move on to the uh, OZ JPY. OZ JPY on the daily chart is also an interesting setup because we have the uh, doji candlestick forming right now. And it looks like the market has been supported by the Kijun Sen so far. So this is more of the bullish side still. Uh, the Senko Span B is upward. The Senko Span B is the lower part of the Kumo when it's up Kumo. So uh, the Senko Span B is showing up. But Senko Span A is flat, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen flat. Tenkan Sen is more of the downside. So this is... Uh, bearish in the short term, but bullish still in the long term. And the Chikou Span has been overlapping. It's kind of tracing the uh, the past candles. This is called Chikou Span uh, synchronization. So um, the price could go up still. If it traces, if the Chikou Span traces the past candles like this, then the market still can go up like this way. And in this case, this is a uh, ascending P wave formation. Like I mentioned on the uh, yesterday's uh, forex forecast, I can see the highs are uh, at the same level, resisted. 
In this area, uh, this was a bit of overshoot, but um, I can say that the market has been resisted uh, near uh, this level, 84.48. But the, if you see the lows, the lows are getting higher and higher this way. So I can see more bullish, I can see more buyers than sellers in the market. And I expect the market breaks the resistance line, resistance level. So once it breaks the 84.48, then um, it can go up all the way to the weak high, which is going to be the next target. And this is 85.43. It can go up and um, it can break the previous resistance and continue to go up. So um, what I expect is that the uh, if the market breaks the first resistance line, which is 84.48, then I will um, look for buying edge. And if we further go up and breaks the second resistance line, which is 85.43, then I will look to another buy chance. And so right now it's ranging in the daily chart and we have the doji candlestick so not sure whether it goes up or not but um i can still see bullishness so this p wave breakout i expect the market breaks upwards in this case and just looking at the flower chart um to see more details of the candles so this is in the flower chart and we had this uh it's it's ranging right now uh we have the doji candlesticks like a two, two doji candlestick consecutive in flower chart. So once the doji breakout happens upwards, which is at this 84.13 level, if it breaks, then um, it can be continuously uptrending up until the recent resistance on the first resistance at this 84.48. So I'm just waiting for the breakout of this 84.13 and uh, see if the Kumo goes up, Kijun Sen goes up, and then look for a buy chance afterwards in Fuawa chart. But if, it, if the market breaks downwards and breaks the Kijun Sen and Kumo, then I won't look for any buying edge. So this is my scenario for today on this AUD JPY. So I thought this is interesting, so um, that's why I decided to share this one also on this public live stream. So, yeah, when the market is ranging like this, uh, when, where Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, and Chikou Span touching, um, you can still read charts by the candlestick patterns and potential breakout, or the chart formation, like a P wave, ascending P wave, or um, you can draw trend lines and support resistance lines, and also candlestick patterns and see potentially where the market, market goes. And if the market goes towards this scenario, then simply you look for a trading edge. But if the market doesn't go towards this scenario, then you just basically stay away. So that's what I do usually. So let's move on to uh, gold as the next interesting market. Gold in the daily chart is now into the Kumo. So as per Ichimoku, this is still ranging. But I can still see bullishness in lower time frames. But first, let me talk about the daily chart. So in the daily chart in gold, uh, the Kumo is squeezing, and this is the sign of the range in the long term. But in the mid to short term, this is uptrending because the Kijun Sen is up and the Tenkan Sen is also pointing upwards. And after we had this uh, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen gold cross, we have the Chikou Span breakout right now. And uh, that looks like the market is heading towards the Senko Span B here. And once the market breaks the Senko Span B, then that will become a Sanyaku Koten signal. And then um, the market can go up continuously like this way. So that's one thing that I'm looking at right now on the daily chart. But when it comes to capturing the trend, I have to see lower time frames because as per Ichimoku, this is still in the range. When you see the candlesticks exactly within the Kumo, uh, you cannot really see the direction of the market. So in this case, I look at the flower chart. And also in price action wise, after we had this double bottom here, at this uh, 1676 level, the market broke upwards and also it broke the neckline. 
the neckline was at this uh, 1755 level, the neckline is broken upwards now. So this is a continuously strong bullish trend in terms of price action. And this is on the end wave right now, bullish in wave. So I can expect the market goes up on this continuous bullish in wave like this way. So looking into the market in forward chart, this is bullish in four because um, we have the Kumo, we have the trending bullish Kumo right now, and also uh, price is above Tenkan Kijun Sen and Kumo here, and Chikou span above the candles, so this is bullish momentum. Um, and we have the consecutive N waves so far in the forward chart as well, so. I expect the market breaks and continues to go up this way. So once I find the Kumo either Senko Span B up or A up and Kijun Sen points upward this way, then I will look for the buy chance today and by following the forward chart. So and as long as Kumo Kijun Sen goes up, I trail the profits along the way. I was actually looking for the buy chance uh, since yesterday or the since, sorry since uh, uh, Friday, last Friday, but I wasn't able to get in because simply I didn't look at the chart when it was a uptrend in 4. So today, I'm still looking for the buy chance on this one. So that will be an um, idea for this gold. So once again, in the daily chart, uh, the price is into the Kumo here, so on a daily basis there is no trend, but in 4 hour chart I do see trend in the by Ichimoku. So this is a good one to look for the buy chance. And also another interesting point here is that the uh, I've seen the the engulfing breakouts here. It's been a pattern. So uh, on the 15th of April uh, we had this uh, huge bullish candlestick. Let, hold on, let me delete, let me cancel the drawings and also the Ichimoku. And this is about the price action. But the uh, I will put the vertical line. So uh, yeah, hold on. Let me see. So yeah, I'm basically looking at this uh, bullish candlestick, and this bullish can candlestick has been engulfing the future one, two, three, four candles, and it broke upwards, and now it's going up still. And afterwards, what happened is that there is another strong bullish candle and this bullish candle engulfing the future 1, 2, 3, 4 candles and broke upwards here. So I do see that this is a continuous bullish trend because this engulfing breakout happens twice so and looks like it's going up now. It just broke the previous high so this is still a bullish trend. So I expect the market continues to go up but uh, this is also what I see. This engulfing breakout are also the patterns I focus on this particular situation. So I'm, I'm looking for the buying edge in lower time frames today. So this is about the gold analysis. So uh, yeah, and so these are basically three pairs that I'm watching right now. So um, you can also focus on these pairs and looking for you can look for the trading edges so yeah that's pretty much it for today's video session if you liked it please press a good button and please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as i do these videos in lives every day so yeah um i will be um i will have a couple meetings afterwards and also uh I will have to take my dog for a walk afterwards, so that's why I decided to record a video this time. So I will see you on the next one, and until then, please stay healthy and stay gold. Alright, bye for now. Matane. Thank you.